Hi everyone, welcome to my channel program the future. In this Python tutorial, we are going to continue our chapters. And today's chapters are variables and data types. Before going into the video, subscribe my channel for more videos. Variables. So what is a variable? A variable is a container that stores memory or a location of a place. In short way, we can create a variable named as a. a is equal to single, single quotation or double quotation, anything is okay. a is equal to Harry Potter. Now, this a is a container and storing this name Harry Potter. So, for single letter, single, uh, single word, Variables we type only the variables example for double double word variables we type for example Ben 10 So it's occurring the error for that We have to put this and type 10 or 10 so it's still happening the error for that we'll take an example of back btn so it's a variable and equal to we can type numbers like 5 3 4 5 6 and now back btn is a double word variable that's it for triple word variable also you can use the same method so now i have written a equal to harry potter that a is a variable like i said you it's containing that word potter harry potter now back button is a container containing the numbers the 3456 now c equal to C equal to variables. For example, I'm typing variables. Variables. Bells. So now these are the variables. So as I said, a variable is a container that stores memory or location of a place. Now these are storing the memory. Let's print them using the print command. Print. A. It's wrong. So I can get corrected. Print A. Print B. Sorry. Back. BTN. Then print C. So now that container is giving us the result. See Harry Potter. 3456 and variables so let's move on to our next chapter before that when you are making a game or app variables are the most necessary things to be done use next are data types normally there are these type of data types first one integer second one floating floating point actually point string boolean none data type means if you are typing a variable if you are declaring a variable and in that variable you are return some data for example I am declaring a as my variable and uh, putting some data in it so I am putting that Harry Water is having one soul of word mot. I don't know the spelling actually, so I have written something. If you know the spelling, comment me in the comment box. Sorry, single quotation. So this is a data. And this data can be of any type. 
so for printing that data so now printing that data we will type the again Harry Potter so we will print the type of data using the type and brackets and variable name print type of a so it's telling me string str means string short form of string now here i am typing a number a equal to 2345678 it's type it's uh, returning me integer because it's a number it's returning integer now we'll type true we should now remove this type now because uh, true is a boolean and false also they help us to uh, show that if their uh, statement is true or false oh there's a error because oh, I didn't type the true properly. True. Now error will not occur. As I said, it's printing true. Now I'm typing 2, 3, 5 and point face 5, 6, 7. So it's type of a complex or uh, etc. For checking the data type, we have going to type type brackets and d so it's a float this is a float okay so this type we can check the data type means uh, what uh, what type of data we have typed or etc in the ending of this video i am going to ask you a question so now you have to declare a variable and print declare a variable and add two numbers using the print option i'll give you time till one minute or 30 seconds i might say time so we'll do it by ourselves declaring a variable a equal to 34 b equal to 24 now print a plus sorry a plus b c now if we calculate 34 plus 24, the answer is 58. We will also calculate it by the calculator. equal to 58 it's a correct answer and one more thing you can also use windows powershell as python for calculating now we should type python and it will uh, show us python 3.9.6 or etc so you can add numbers directly here like 34 plus 26 you can directly add the answers using powershell or command prompt 
so this is the end of uh, end of this tutorial for more chapters please subscribe my channel and like and don't forget to share it with your friends who want to learn coding bye